For the third part in our series for rational function tutorials, we're going to take a look at dividing rational expressions. And you're going to see that with one variation, that dividing is just like multiplying, because dividing is really just the multiplication of fractions. So let's get started. We've got a new equation here that looks a little more, uh, looks like we have to, a lot of factoring to do. Um, but we have to start with something. And the first thing we're going to do, we are going to uh, go ahead and flip the second term. That's the call the divisor, and then we'll multiply. So that means this multiplication sing symbol is going to change. So we'll write down the first term. The first term does not change. Okay. And that's over the same denominator. Do not flip the first term, because that will get you an answer that is opposite of, or not opposite, but um, kind of um, the reciprocal of what you want to get. So let's flip this upside down. 2x cubed minus 6x squared. And put what was in the numerator in the denominator. OK. Now we just have multiplication. So uh, I'm going to pause the video. You should pause the video now just to see if you could spend some time factoring this. And then I'll go over it in a second. The next thing we're going to do is factor all terms, just like in the previous tutorial. And to do this, uh, we'll look at each term. So the first one here, careful, there's a negative here. So we're looking at two factors of 10 whose difference is 3. So you're going to get x plus 5 and x minus 2. OK? And we're going to put that all over the factors of this second trinomial. OK? It's going to be factored similarly, but it's a 15 here. So we're looking at x plus 5 and x minus 3. Right. So now we're going to multiply that by the factors of this quotient. So in the top, there's two terms, but there's lots of common junk we can turn out. There's at least a 2 in each one. And there's also at least an x squared. And what that's going to leave, in the first term, it leaves an x. And in the second term, it leaves a negative 3. So we factored this upper term. Now, check your work if you paused earlier and did this. The last thing we have to do, pull out a 4, and that leaves x minus 2. So the third step is just to remember that you really can multiply numerators to numerators, denominators to denominators. Since that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and just take a pen here and just say, you know what? We could have written these across all the ways. 1, there we go, 1 big quotient multiplying tops and bottoms. And let's cancel like terms. x plus 5's cancel. This x minus, minus 2 cancels with one way over here. And this x minus 3 and this x minus 3. So we've got a lot of things canceled. So let's go ahead and write uh, what's left. We have 2x squared over 4. Okay. The last thing we might see is this is actually 1 half, so that cancels out. And our final answer is x squared Okay, over 2. So the last thing that we were doing here that I haven't uncovered is that we're simplifying. Okay, so the last step is, and that's this canceling out, is simplify the expression by recognizing that anything divided by itself is 1, so we can get rid of it. Okay, and then when we simplify and get down to our answer, our answer is simply x squared minus, or x squared divided by 2. So this huge quotient at the beginning comes down to just x squared divided by 